Come on, Mr. B. Time to find some angels. Hi everyone, Spidergirl back again for another review and I'm going to be doing a NECA Bioshock 2 review again. Now, I seem to remember when I did Subject Delta that I remember saying that I got Subject Delta and the little system and I was quite happy to just leave it there and that will be it. Um, but possibly to get this big guy here who I'm going to be reviewing today. Now, I'm going to kind of go back on that and since getting Big Daddy and looking at all the other figures as well, I think I could safely say you can expect to see a lot more of these. Um, I plan to get quite a few more. I do, because these are just amazing figures. They really are. And I wanted to put these three up here just to show you kind of what they look like when they're all stood together. And I just, it, it's, it's incredible. It's amazing how it adds to it. I loved these two just by themselves, but having this guy as well is incredible. Um, it really is. So I'm just going to get rid of them too, and then we can focus on the main event. And here he is. This is the Big Daddy Bouncer. Um, I think one of the better known bouncers. Um, the other Big Daddy that you can get is the Rosie, and I'm not too sure if I will pick that one up. Um, not too particularly bothered about that one. It's 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 not one of my favourites, but this guy is. When I played the first game, this was this was the main Big Daddy you fought in the main in the first game, the Big Daddy Bouncer, and he was just incredible then. And then he comes back in Bioshock 2, and even though you're Subject Delta, which is another Bouncer, uh, another Big Daddy, you you he's still a formidable opponent. He really and. Just the detail and the way he looks, and you, you kind of see him walking towards you with his lights yellow, which means you're neutral. You, he's not going to attack you, but it's he's, he's still freaky. You know, it's it's like in Star Trek when you see them walking past the bog, and you know that if you don't attack them, they won't bother with you. They don't see you as a threat, but the bog is still really, really creepy. You know, you look at them, and it's like, hmm, yeah, they're good. And this guy is exactly the same. He is an incredible part of the game. Um, and and one of my favourite favourite characters in it. Um, as I say, he's in both of them, Bioshock and Bioshock 2. And when I played the first game, I really wanted a figure of him. But obviously, you couldn't get this because you could only get it if you bought it with the game, which I wasn't prepared to buy another copy of the game just to get this. And I'm really glad I held out and waited because I bought this from Amazon about a week ago for seventeen pounds in the end. I got for him. Brand new, still sealed, and I'd, I'm just absolutely thrilled to bits with it. I really am. Um, again, with the detail on it, um, I'll zoom in with the camera actually, it might make it easier. Ooh. Yes, he's a bit back heavy, as you can imagine, with these huge tanks on there. But um, there we go, this game stood there. And uh, But the detail on him. As with all NECA figures, as with all Bioshock figures, just incredible detail. Absolutely fantastic detail. Now I have, ooh, sorry, a bit of a squeak on the tripod there. I've not got the best tripod in the world, I will admit. So I'm sorry if this squeaks. Um, but, yeah, there it goes. But the detail on him. One thing I love in particular is something I noticed in another review, just as I was waiting to, for him to arrive, is this knee pad there. You go, you got this one whole and that one smashed. That's just how great it is. You know, how there's, it's, it's not perfect. You know, he's obviously been through the walls. He's obviously, his boots there as well. Scratched and scuffed. Oop. There we go, scratched and scuffed there, you know, and dents on it. He's obviously been through the walls. He's obviously faced off against a few splices and defended his little sister to the death. You know, incredible, incredible detail. Just really, really is. Um, I don't know how good this is going to be without the light. There we go. Just to go into a bit more detail on the back there. I mean, these two kind of things you have to put on yourself. And I saw on a couple of videos a lot of people having trouble putting them on. I had no trouble at all. These went on straight away, no problem at all. Um, this one may be a little bit more difficult than this one. But they still went on really well. But just I, I say it all the time with these figures, and I will continue to say it with every single Bioshock 2 figure I do, 
the detail my god the detail look at that just every little bit scratches scuffs the belt buckles that the um get his arm off the way it's blocking light there we are the um diving weight you know the the lights and everything and i have seen a video where they're planning to bring out a big daddy where the lights change so he's like yellow for neutral red when he's angry green when he's hypnotized that will be i'm not a big fan of buying the same figure twice when it comes to any sort of figure i'm not the biggest fan of doing that but that will be probably one huge exception i would quite happily buy a big daddy where you can change the lights really really would love to as with subject delta his drill will spin as well which is just a really cool touch as well there's not much you can do with it really but just, it can spin that's fantastic and just detail 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 incredible just i i've always as, as i said before i've always wanted one of these always always wanted one of these and now I find oh hello now I finally got one. Um, um, just he's well worth the wait, completely worth the wait. He really is. Um, and he won't stand up now. There we go. Nope, he's going to go again. I had him stood perfectly before. There we go. So absolutely fantastic figure. He just looks brilliant. Just stood on the shelf, and just. You know, you look at it and it just makes you smile. It really does. Uh, when he's, especially when he stood with the others. And as I said, as I said before, I, I, I think I said in the subject, it's been that long since I did it. But I'm sure I said I wasn't too keen on the little sis, on the big sister. And that them two were probably the only ones I was going to get, except for him. And I probably stopped there. I don't think I will. I think I will get the big sister. I'm planning on getting the uh, the woman splicer as well. Not particularly bothered with it, but I like how it's got the rabbit mask on, and it's it's I, I like that, so I think I might get her as well. But just oh, brilliant, such a good figure, it really is. Articulation as well. Um, a reviewer I like to watch, uh, JT Mitchell, he he said as well, considering how big and bulky he is, you wouldn't think his articulation would be very much, and you'd be quite happy with that. Um, and I was watching and I thought, you know, yeah, that's a good point. His articulation for how big he is, is immense. You've got, his arm will move in and out. It'll rotate at the shoulder there as well. To the point where his hand is on a ball joint as well. So his hand and his wrist will move and rotate into any position you want. His legs will, will rise up quite stiff, but they will rise up. And they will flip back, so you can have him doing <laughs> that sort of a pause, I guess. If, if, if that's what really, you know, if that's what floats your boat, then go, you can go ahead. But uh, you can't move his leg very far up because of the 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 the, the weight there. Um, but his knee will twist, his ankle will move, um, so you can get a lot of good pauses in. And as I said, his other arm, his shoulder will move and in and out, his elbow will move and his drill will turn. Um, flaws with this figure? Absolutely none. Not one flaw. I, it's, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's just... There's a lot of things they could have done to make it obviously to make it better. People have said about this valve turning. That doesn't bother me. It, it would have been a cool touch, but yeah. But um, that doesn't bother me at all. Um, obviously the lights, but the, as I've heard, the plan on doing that or releasing it, or they have released it in the States and just not here yet, or ever. Um, that's it, really. I, just, I can't think of anything else that would have made this any better. Um, maybe if he'd come with his own little sister. But then again, there's the uh, little sister pack with Eleanor and the little sister that I've got there, which I plan on getting, and then Eleanor can go with Subject Delta. And then you've got a little sister for this guy, and a little sister for the big sister as well. It's a lot of sisters. But never mind. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my plan anyway. But anyway, Big Daddy. If you haven't picked this up already, pick him up. Re honestly, he's, he's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And he makes for just such a wonderful centerpiece. 
Um, I actually have mine just just to the right here where my computer and uh, my Xbox and everything is stood on my um, Hi-Fi. But just looking at him on here, I think I might I'm tempted to just rearrange the decoration here and just have everything stood up here because that's, that's that's a fantastic fantastic pose. Just it's just brilliant. Um, I tried not to say fantastic or incredible too much. I probably failed considering in my last review. Um, but anyway, Big Daddy. Let's bring the other two in actually, and then and then they all are together. Look fantastic, just the three of them. They really do. They just fit so nicely, size-wise as well. I think um, a good way for size comparison. Um, Subject Delta always seemed about the same height because they always say the Subject Delta was like the prototype, but it was too attached to the little sister, which is why they then went to the the Big Daddy Bouncer. And um, they said, as I'm, I'm sure it was said as well, that this was a lot, very much a not so permanent. Um, transformation to a big daddy whereas this if you became a big daddy bouncer there was no going back you were a big daddy bouncer for life until well until you weren't needed anymore you know um, but fantastic I mean but the size comparison that's what I was on about oh, I lost my track then size comparison that the big daddy bouncer and the subject delta were always about the same height I mean when you were fighting them it wasn't like the big daddy was towering over you um, so that's a really really good and when you do see the little sisters with the big daddies they pretty much that is about the right height for each of them oh hello she's fallen over there we go yeah um that was pretty much the right height for all of them so it's 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 it works out brilliantly i'm interested actually to get the big sister to see what her size comparison is like next to them because i saw it the other day in forbidden planet um, and she looks quite small. I was quite surprised. I thought she'd be a lot taller than when she looked, but you don't know until you stand them up against each other. Um, be interesting to see anyway. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed. This is my review for Subject. Not Subject. Hey, got Big Daddy Bouncer. It's because I was looking at him. It's been a long day. Anyway, man. Um, this is my review for, for... I was going to do it again. Big Daddy Bouncer. Um, expect more to come along. I do intend on getting a lot more of them. And leave comments underneath, let me know what you think, and I will be back again for another review very soon. Until then, take care, and see you soon. Oh, I'm ready for dream time, Mr. B.